Speaking as someone but who's been using Hydro Flash for like the last three years, they're great. It does work. Yeah, That's they're, the problem. they're great. They're, they're my favorite brand. And there's hey, way welcome back. <laughs> 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 there's way less lead than the, the Stanley fuck? ones. <laughs> That's how we're coming back? Yeah, we're coming back. Uh -huh. you should, like, if you're going to get a thermos, I know Hydro Flash is kind of the pricier option of the two, but I like them. I think they work just fine. And compared to other brands, they don't got fucking lead paint in them. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> this, one's, this brand's called Mana. Like, man, a water sounds good. So when we last <laughs> left off, Midgar, kaput. For now, anyway. Fuck Midgar. Weapon, kaput. For now, anyway. Fuck Heidegger. <laughs> and now we're on the road to Viridian City. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, we are on the end. We're on Endgame now, which means it's time to do side quests. And by that, I mean, we only got a few things to do before we start doing the Northern Crater Expedition. Uh, one is an area that we deliberately ignored after we did the first uh, quest, and that's the Wutai area. Yeah. Because there's, there's one more thing we can do in the Wutai area that involves Yuffie. Uh, and off screen, I did several things and we'll get into it as we go along you're, but we're you're gonna, at it for like a yeah. good number uh, of hours yeah yeah thank god this game has a three times feature because holy shit that <laughs> saved me speaking of I want you hear that folks? <laughs> you hear it you heard it here folks he cheats <laughs> <laughs> no because dude uh that went the wrong way I gotta go back. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, like watching a silent film the mountain? from the twenties. I, I want to go up the mountain and use the Leviathan skills right. that we got the submarine area. Can you imagine a silent a silent film, but it uses the battle theme for Final Fantasy VII as the music film? And it's Charlie Chaplin, but he looks like Sephiroth. So you remember back <laughs> in the submarine area, we got something called the Leviathan skills, and this is what we need to put these fires out. Oh. You get a couple rare chests, so I'm surprised you didn't burn yourself alive touching them, but no, the Orzuru is Yuffie's best non-ultimate weapon. Yeah. And Ooh. Materia. Steel as well. That's iffy-ish. So, so you can steal, but you can steal as well. <laughs> yeah, two for one deal. Yeah. So wait. So you steal, and then what else do you do? It hits? You, you steal if, if as you, well. If you use the... um, Whatever you have paired with this materia, you will also do the steal command as okay. well. Okay. Uh, so Ultima, steal. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, Basically. attack and steal. Like, oh, yeah. oh, bug. Like, like, uh, fucking Odin, steal, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that being said, the Orsuru does give a, a 38 buff to your magic as well if you want to use it. I would have loved this. Like, don't edit it like the hand to do this instead. <laughs> every time, every no, time just, you look up. <laughs> just put down the index finger and move the index <laughs> finger over to the middle finger. <laughs> yeah, but the hands face it backwards, so it would be like the god saying, fuck you, Wu-Tai. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fuck Wu-Tai. What's wrong with you? That's kind of xenophobic. <laughs> All right, so here's the last thing we got to do. So this tower here, this is the pagoda. This is this is something for Yuffie for closure and to get a little more development on Wu-Tai as a city itself. Do you think it's also kind of a shout-out to that one uh, Jackie Chan movie? And uh, now Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee? Which one? Oh, the and Game of Dragon? Death? Yeah. The game, no, the Game of Death. Game sorry. of Death. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe. I have not seen a single Bruce Lee movie. Um, I think you should watch at least Enter the Dragon and, and Game of Death. Yeah, those are good. Those are good. Yeah, those, those, are, those, those are classics. Oh, okay. Miss Yuffie, will you be climbing the pagoda today? So basically what's going to go on here is that there's going to be five opponents here, and they're each going to – they're basic. Four of them are going to transform into monsters you've already fought. But they're going to be like souped up versions of them for the most part. His name is Gorky. Gorky. Well, Yo, Gorky. Straight, you straight up, straight up jorking their peanuts. <laughs> well, no, they, gorking their peanuts. They would <laughs> have been souped up monsters. <laughs> yeah. Straight up gorking. And by it, I mean my peanuts. But anyway, this is something you can do with, again uh, as Dude, early. it's a xenomorph with wings. How fucking dare you? No, what are you doing with that bullshit? <laughs> right? What? It's a xenomorph. No, Look no, not it. that. I'm talking about him <laughs> casting barrier. Basically, yeah, the jump kick thing. Chop. Sweet. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. This this is um <laughs> when I first did this, I didn't know about this. Yeah. So when I was just exploring everything at the end game, I came across this, but I was in basically the situation you're in now. Much higher level, conformer, just ready to go. And I did that for I, I think the last floor I had to hit him twice. In my <laughs> case, <laughs> You could, uh, the very first time I did this, I was stupid enough to do it, like, right as soon as I got done the Wu-Tai quest. Yeah. Second time around, I was like, I'll wait a bit. Then I waited until I got the Crystal Cross, and that's when it became, like, the only trouble for me. The only time I ever did a disc one was when I was recording for the review. Mm. Uh, because I wanted the footage to be more interesting for the two seconds I would talk about it. <laughs> um, and Oops. I'm going to say, like, if you do this disc one, it is a genuinely decent challenge. Especially yeah. when you get to uh, 
the fuck's the guy's name? Goto. Goto, thank you. I was going to say Goku for some reason. No, that's Akuma. <laughs> no, that's a Yu Gi Oh! Monster Market Titan. The... <laughs> so if John was to go on his own like journey of self righteousness and such, you know, to, f- to like soul search, self discovery? Yes. yes. Is that called Johnny Quest? Yes. It would be. That yeah. would be Johnny's Quest, yeah. Johnny's Quest. Absolutely. <laughs> What's blood yapping about? Although with a lot less uh, uh, racial stereotyping. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe. I, I, I never watched Johnny Quest. <laughs> you never watched Johnny Quest? There, there was there, that, and there was, an an, there was another one, too. There the was New one. Adventures of Johnny Quest. Yeah. yeah. The real ones. Yeah. There was a real specific I'm sorry, character the real that adventure. was sorry. very I really liked like that one. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're talking about because it was on Tsunami a whole bunch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I and, I, I, and I always thought... That the the name the real adventure Johnny Quest I was like oh so what were the other ones before Are you telling me that that was like the a fan fiction of Johnny VR Quest. simulation they were the fake ones that were a product of their How time How fucking dare you <laughs> and then there's the real doink, Johnny doink. Quest AKA C Lab 2021 <laughs> <laughs> I'm only watching him eat poison or something uh most of the time yeah but it depends on whether or not oh no he's getting angry ah i've only watched a bit of sea lab how fucking sea lab i didn't watch the whole thing but i watched a bunch of episodes it is kind of <laughs> it's sea lab reminds me of like archer before archer <laughs> yeah that makes i mean sense. That's, the that, that's, a, yeah. that's the way i look at that show like that and a uh, space ghost i haven't watched that I-, I never watched actual space ghost i only know space ghost coast to coast same uh, so that's it. That's, that's not the real Space Ghost. No, show? you say that's a shame. No, Space Ghost Coast to Coast, much better fucking television. No, I, because, oh, I know. I mean, like, I yeah. like both. Yeah, to me, like, because I have gone back and watched a bit of original Space Ghost, of actual, and Space it's Ghost. it's just a little too generic Hanna Barbera art cartoon of that age. It, yeah, it's I mean, a, it's a cartoon from yeah. that time. Yeah, I mean, if you want it, if you want like a more edgy kind of like Space Ghost, uh, the recent comics that are coming out are. are well, the I comics have always been like that, I think. Yeah, oh, have they always yeah. been? Yeah. yeah, the comics have always been like that. That's Which is so f- weird, again, because if you only know Coast to Coast, <laughs> it's <laughs> weird seeing Space Ghost being an actual badass. Uh, what were you saying about? This is the uh, first one hurdle you might actually have on this tower. This asshole's that guy who um, freezes you and paralyzes oh, you. Oh, shit. Sucks I, your blood. Yeah, I forgot to put the gem ring. No, uh, it don't matter. You have the ribbon, right? Uh, the ribbon well, doesn't protect you from stop, though. You're no, also going to no, kill but it's not stop. It's huh? paralyzed. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't... Pro- um, I don't think that... We'll the see, only thing we'll it can't we'll protect see. you from is stop, but it okay. can protect you from paralyzed. Okay. I mean, I hope he has the ribbon, like... Yeah, like, seriously. If, I don't remember if, if he's the missing a rib. We're about, to find out. we're about to find out right now. Wait, if he's missing a rib, no, I think that's a problem. Well, guess what? This ain't yeah. going to be a problem I mean, anymore. It's over. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See ya. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! I love that short you can at the end. <laughs> And that's not our most damaging one either. No. Uh, it's um, what the fuck is the name of the level three one? You got Bluffest here, uh, Doom, Doom of the Living. I think. Uh, it's I think it's Doom of the Living. Was yeah. It Doom of the Living. Yeah. I Which is funny because that's the name of the Samurai Limit Break three and four, dude. They knew. They know. <laughs> they absolutely fucking know. All that's left is the physical dude, and then go. He's to, easy as shit. Yeah, because the physical dude is just physical attacks. I always found this weird when I was. And a- he's slow as fuck. It's found this weird. When I was a kid, I always thought, like, hey, why are they all going into this one dude? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean like the RPG thing? Yeah, oh, yeah. They, 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 just, they, go, they just collided to collide. It's like, are they the same yeah. person now? Which I'd imagine is, like, for those that, like, what got into Final Fantasy VIII, party members for the first time followed you directly. They never yeah. went inside yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Final uh, uh, Dragon Quest Three, I think, was the first time that I remember uh, doing that. Lufia also did three it, too. Three or four. Lufia had them walk around behind you, yeah. Erston. Yeah. Shvit, dead. <laughs> See, I always, I always wondered that we're in, we're in a Japanese style town. No, but, I would say Japanese style. It's Japanese. It's like, like a j- Japanese town. But the people that are, that are gu- guiding you through the pagoda have Russian names. Really? Chekhov, Chekhov, Stanev, Gorky. Yeah. yeah, those three are Russian. Yeah. Shake is just white as shit. <laughs> I <laughs> said Gorky's Gorky. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's funny because you have to think about it. In... In Japan, this isn't Japan Town. This it's is American this town. is like yeah. This yeah. is it's if, a tourist if trap. this was an right. American made game, this would be the American tourist trap. Actually, right. I wouldn't be surprised in that case if the Russian names were just a front. An alias, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, for the sake of tourism. My original hey, name was my name is, my, my my favorite member is Harpo. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a Harpo. If not, there should be. 
Let's all go watch the baseball match. <laughs> <laughs> the, the nine Mets are my favorite squadron. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to pronounce NY as nine. <laughs> That's the least of the problems. <laughs> well, the music. Okay, so this is not the glitch. It's actually the music supposed to cut off here. Yep. Talk Y'all stay silent. Shh. Shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> I thought Shake was going to say her, was like trying to say her name, but I was like, oh, sh- Shake. Or was it Shake? <laughs> <laughs> yep, oh, her pops. Her pops. Yeah. Oh. Wake the fuck up. Yuffie's dead. Papa Yuffie. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Actually, I'll interview su- Papa Kisaragi. <laughs> and you're supposed to be dumpster diving for ham scraps, you <laughs> chicken and nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. I had to bring back the Space Ghost reference at least <laughs> once. Omni change. Omni change. And he Yo. turns into like a, make, a makeshift Osara. Omni change. Why? <laughs> How can I... <laughs> why? <laughs> so like, why in the hub world does he kind of look like Rachel Ghoul? That's just a that's just He's stocky, design. though. I think he shares the same model as uh, uh, Dio, but he has facial hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the uh, basically an Osara battle. Yeah. The three faces will do different things. The white face will usually hit you with some sort of status magics. The yellow face is curative. The red one does beast sword and is your last hope of getting trying. But now Johnny's going to kill him. Dead. So, so is, that what, is this what Yoshimitsu is based off yeah. of? Yeah. Uh, again, to, uh, to, re, to reemphasize again in case you didn't hear it, if you did not learn trying from the Materia Keeper earlier, this is another opportunity to do so. Okay. But uh, after him, that's it. Yeah, that after him, that's all. And for beating him, we get Yuffie's level four limit break, all creation. It's just a giant fireball. Which is not very good. Like This, no, this, this, this is the problem yeah. I have with a lot of level four limit breaks. A lot of them are really flashy singular hit attacks, <laughs> as opposed to multi-hit attacks from like level three. Yeah. Hell, even some level twos are better than level fours. I know it's the onomatopoeia, but I thought they were actually saying heave, heave, heave puff, puff. Uh, pent, pent, <laughs> pent. <laughs> What? I mean, <laughs> you want to wear the pants or not? <laughs> hey, in Zelda 1, for the longest time, I thought that guy was saying grumble, grumble. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't? It didn't, didn't occur to me he's supposed to be hungry. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I thought They're he was having a good laugh about it. Yeah, I was going to say grumble, I'm grumble. i be real. What a swell battle to the death it was. It's on. Did you count how many heads <laughs> how I had? That noise? I almost died. I was about to kill my daughter. <laughs> my daughter but slapped the McFucking shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> And for our reward of not only getting low from the but we also get the Leviathan material. There's also a few summons we have to show off. We haven't done it yet. Oh, yeah, the summon uh, showcase. We have the, Yeah, we haven't shown off Leviathan. We didn't show off Hades. Um, did we show off Typhon? No. No. You used Kuj- Typhon, Kujata. but you didn't summon Typhon. Didn't do Kujata. No, we did not use Kujata. So, uh, Chocobo. No, we showed Chocobo. Oh, showed Chocobo? Chocobo. Oh, that was, was I'm sorry. That was four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? Duh, what, did these people pay attention to their fucking history? So this is these are details that you can already like sort of piece together for yourself by just talking to the NPCs. But uh, and this is something again, again the remake series goes into and the compilation. But Wu Tai and Shinra had a uh, massive war yep. uh, against each other, and Wu Tai lost that war. Yes, settled uh, in a settled in a most unfortunate game of rock paper scissors. Yeah, uh, and as a result, because you know resources were dwindled, lives were lost. The, the, they didn't want to fight. Uh, they didn't want to risk lives at that point anymore. And Shinra just plain conquered the fuck out of him. That too. Uh, Wu Tai became a tourist trap. Yep. Uh, and Yuffie, uh, being born into that, realizing that Wu Tai used to mean something in this world, didn't like that. And a, a big reason for her, you know, compulsiveness with materia stealing is because she wants to build up Wu Tai to be back to what it way the way it was. You know, yeah. she has the re- she has the relevance materia equipment. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Cri- Crisis Core does go into that. Yes, it does. Uh, be- I think uh, it happened like it- that's during the tail end of the war, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah. Like Zach and Angel show up like at the tail end, but they're there to finish the war. Yeah. And you run into like I think like uh, like a uh, a child you fear around that time. Like, yes. I know it's kind of yes, you because do. you think she's still a child now. Yeah. Uh, they, she's seventeen. The I think. cloud. Uh, she's. <laughs> I think she's 15 or 16, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, what should we call it, though? Um, spoilers. Rebirth. Um, the cloud in Yuffie's seed is so fucking adorable because Yuffie calls back to, cl- calls back to um, references Crisis Core by saying that even though Zach, she knew Zach was just playing around with her every time she tried to do that, mm. it always made her happy. Yeah. Still a child. Yep. After that. So basically, Koto explains that Goto basically explains that 
he had to do it for the, <clears throat> for the sake of Wutai. Like, he's not happy that he became a tourist town, but what's his other option? Go against Shinra and get the rest of the Wutai decimated? I was going to say, yeah. Or Midgar 2. Well, <laughs> if you're going to go against Shinra, now's the time. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a bit of a power vacuum happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Go, go after Shinra. Get all get all of the cold cuts that they got. All their cheeses. I think, I'm talking, I think it's, uh, I think no, it's, it's time for, I think, I think it's time for Wu-Tai, too. Two-Tai. <laughs> <laughs> I should call it New-Tai. <laughs> <laughs> come on, this shit right itself. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's better than the idea you have for your fucking poultry shop. Hentai was not the way to go. <laughs> or they're trying to be like new. They're trying to be hip and contemporary. <laughs> cool this is, my, this is probably my favorite moment. Yeah. I love it, too. This is yeah. their, this is really their fucking Fight go. Fight to be able to come back. With, with the, the material. material. <laughs> you yeah. imagine go to there, it's just like cracking a fucking smile. Yeah. No. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I love that. For you know, as, as much as they like disagree like about everything. Right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 my limbs, <laughs> my fucking knees, my if, if if you're in Wu Tai and they're fixing their shoe, that's called shoe tie. Shoe tie. <laughs> so they don't trip. <laughs> if, and their favorite and their best local drink is the Mai Tai. Dog. Burr, burr, fuck you too. There, there were also his oldest friends, Mai speed. and Tai. Burr, burr. God, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we're done though. That's the end of Wu Tai. Thank yeah. God. Let's get out of here. Place so, <laughs> <it's> just <destroyed. laughs> tourism. Uh, uh, what were we saying about? Nothing. I was gonna say uh, I forgot. I was gonna even say go with it. Oh Lord. Yeah. Okay. So Wu Tai is done. Uh, why don't we get some ultimate weapons? Also, the music gone. Never. Yeah, mind. it's always gone. What well, else? It's is back. New? All right. Uh, you know what? I'm nostalgic for Midgar. But we can't get back in the Midgar without doing another parachute drop. Fortunately, unfortunately, we used our last parachute, uh, so we have to we have to find a new way to get inside there. Uh, actually, let's let's show the hint for that. You can yeah, we will be having three earlier. times speed for the rest of this fucking thing until we get there. So this is the way back into Sector Five, uh, but the door's locked. Well, how do we get That's in? That's funny. I dropped the key to this gate somewhere. Must have been on that excavation. Dude, I you had all the fucking time in the world to realize that you dropped your key and it took you to here. You I would mean, be surprised yeah, how easy say. that can happen. That's you a, just got here. Do you I have mean, any idea what it's like for me when I lose a tool only to realize I lost it two weeks later? Like, oh, shit. So what he's talking about is the key to Sector 5, which you get in an excavation tour during uh, in Bone Village. Boner. So we're going <laughs> to... Boner. He made a boner at Bone Village. So we're going to talk to this dude, uh, and it's, we're going to start digging. Uh, but instead of... Obviously, we can't look for the Lunar Harp anymore. It's not there anymore. We're going to look for a good treasure. And our spot of interest is right below this down fighter jet. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to set staff, though, just in case. <laughs> you can also, again, as I mentioned this earlier, there are some items you can get through this if you botched them during the main game. Mm -hmm. At least W item, Phoenix Materia, and I want to say Bahamut Zero are three of them. Uh, Neo Bahamut is also two. Because, oh, Neo uh, Bahamut, I'm yeah. thinking of. And uh, thanks to the beauty of pre-rendered graphics... I never realized that was a downed fighter jet. Because yeah. <laughs> it's Dude. on top of the fucking yeah, fossil it, it's thing. It's like an F-14. Like, it, what the fuck is that monster skull yeah. there? Is that it, a behemoth? It, yeah. It looks like it. It actually is. Yeah. <laughs> That's bottom gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Tanger. Oh, that would have been a great Easter egg if that was the case. But too bad for you. They're all facing to the north. Yeah. Uh, no, but it doesn't matter. As long as we dig in the right spot, it's fine. All right. Oh really? So even yeah. if they even because if they I, indicate I, a different treasure, thing, I did this last night, <laughs> uh, and uh, I dug here and it found. They weren't looking at that spot, but I dug here and I got it anywhere. <laughs> Although so knowing that I'm recording yeah, myself, <laughs> yeah, you got dog poop. I got key the to key sector, sector five. five. Oh, okay, try. cool. All right, so now we have a way to get back into Midgar. Not all of Midgar, but the shit that we care the about. Slums. Yeah, the slums. I can't believe we just said the shit we care about. The slums. <laughs> Someone's got to care. Yeah. Shinra don't want to fuck do I. Now that, hey, now how'd you do that? Now that Thomas Wait Wayne a minute. Is, oh, but damn it. Now that so, Thomas uh, Wayne I'm is I'm not sure dead. if this was blink or miss it, but keep your eye on the top of the screen here. Yep. Whoa. There she is. Or her the ghost. That? That's her ghost. What Ooh. the fuck? They're pretty. That's not how you spell pretty. Go back to school. <laughs> you got to understand, slum education doesn't go very high for these people. Where's the flower lady? Oh, she's dead. I killed her. <laughs> no, she's not. She's right there. And that's the that's where the horror movie is. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> <laughs> this fall. <laughs> you can go in here. This guy's gone now He's because gone. he went to the reunion. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> Crisis core. I stabbed the uh, arrow. You can go back to Eris' house. Uh, Omira's They're not gone. there anymore. Uh, neither is Marlene. They're back in. They're in a uh, calm now, somewhere. which is weird. Yeah, somewhere because you can never see them again until the ending. Right. Um, and it's so fucking bizarre. I was. Oh yeah, we were also saying like um, before recording, it's like what? Yeah, what? Like with the music cutting off. Like what if they cut off the music, but like during the final fight? Hmm. I want to ride the slide. I can't. Yeah, they make up your own <laughs> lyrics to One Winged Angel. Uh, uh, one Winged Breakfast, Matt. Here we go. I still yeah. got to fucking come up with something. I never. Yeah. I've We've been talking talk about it for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, right? S- like, S- well, all right. S- so if S- you S- recall, S- way back in disc one, four years ago. Pre-pandemic. Jesus. Yeah. This is, a, this is the uh, wall market item shop. But if you attempted to interact with the console, that fucking Gatling gun on the roof would activate <laughs> and prevent you from uh, using anything. Yeah. It's deactivated <laughs> now. Uh, uh, and by but checking that's it, it, right? Yeah, that's the, that's literally it. By checking it though, now you get Tifa's ultimate weapon. This is premium heart. Ninety nine power, thirty two magic. Does with that a really fucking, it? With a really also, unfortunate, stupid gimmick. Uh, does that, does that, does that reactivate the Gatling gun? No, I don't you, think so. if, if you try and get it again, will it just suddenly turn back on? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, wow. See? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, go, if you go up to the uh, gun shop again, where you were where you were earlier, that guy will find something new. He'll have the uh, sneak glove mm-hmm. for you. Premium heart. You mean the nine hundred? Not him. The, bat- not him, the, uh, the battery. The battery seller. It's gonna be. Oh, so nine hundred must be on sale. Why don't you buy it? You probably just found it lying where somewhere. I meant that I found it. <laughs> you never better get another one like it again. How about one hundred twenty-nine thousand? Yo, God, golly! Do I even have that? You do, actually. You have two hundred ten thousand, and if you're selling all material, that's that. <laughs> uh, uh, You'll never get an opportunity like this again. I'm not going to use it though, because I already got files yeah, prepared for this. You so literally sure. just <laughs> Dan, fuck them. <laughs> well, well, yeah, they eat shit then. At least, at least you know, show that. Yeah, at, at least, least we, do, yeah, we point you, that out. Now you know that it's there. You also can't go back to the honey. How much you to shove it up your ass? Oh, wait, 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 I can't go I was gonna back say, to the honey. Did you just see Gun from Hunter Hunter walking down? The shitter have occupied this show. No. Wait, hold on. Hold What's it down. Up? Go up real quick. What's up? Keep going up. Keep going up. Mm-hmm. There. Where, where? The dude walking. It's gone from Hunter Hunter. Oh. Oh, I don't okay. Watch, I don't watch that show. Neither do I. I know of the character. <laughs> I don't. Mm, I, I, know, I know he was second. I have definitely heard these his, words before. I know he's <laughs> the second most interesting character on the show. And, and, his, and his dad's a deadbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, just coming back here for Premium Heart and a Sneak Love is really all that there is to this. You can't climb back all the way up to Shinner HQ again from here. So. No. Wow. No. Um, but you know, it's nice and nostalgic. I also get to hear underneath the rotting pizza again. It's one, yeah. of, one yeah. of my favorite tracks. Oh shit, the door! Hey, Damn I found it. your key. You're not getting it back though. <laughs> <laughs> that was my only well, key. Well wait. No, see now I like to think that he unlocked the door so the guy can get in, but he doesn't know yet. Uh, it's like when you go. when you go to a store before they open and you don't realize they actually unlocked the door earlier. Yeah. Where is no. There it is. What the fuck is that? The fuck was that? That's the red snake. That's the desert's penis. <laughs> the desert's penis. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna play the, the uh, piano. I'm play the piano. The piano. The peony. Uh, this is something you can do at any point when you visit Mount Nibelheim, but uh, well, just Nibelheim in general. Well, you could do it at any point, but after I want to say you get cloud back, it's when the limit unlocks. Yeah. That's what I you got to play the high wind theme. I, I know, but, but I don't, I don't remember. Look, you can look, you can, oh, look, you can stupid you can, soldier look, like yeah. this. <laughs> look, you can play with. <laughs> <laughs> look, Do I need to play that? <laughs> look, you can play with your penis all you want, just not in front of us, bro. Uh, Jokes on you. I already jacked it twice since we started. I said not in front of us. I ain't doing it in front of you. Your eyes are on the screen. That's what I'm saying. It's like you, you could already, right. you could do it. That's fine. Just not while we're here. That's right, so we're going to jam on this piano. And you have to play a specific set of notes. So we're, we're essentially playing not just the high one. It's, it's really just the main theme of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're going to go, oh, go for it. Oh, you're right. And you got to say, I remember. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry <laughs> jams, <laughs> but this Glock doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, however. Um, I played it very well. I deserve I a pat on the back. I suck at the fucking piano on the re- on Rebirth for the record, but, you know. Well, because the piano minigame is dog shit in Rebirth. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the piano. I said what I'm I said. I'm not good at it when the music yeah. is compli- complicated, yeah. but I got I, I think, on everything but one. I think one. mapping to directional tilt on the analog stick, it was a horrible decision. Yep. See, uh, I, think it's, I think it's interesting because it makes everything accessible to the point where there's going to be people that play amazing music yeah, yeah. on that. It's like, just that, but it's, it's too it, sensitive, though. 
It's way too sensitive. Yeah, I had to actually go into my settings in yeah. the PS5 and do something. I forgot what I altered. I think I ordered a setting about the PS5 and the games that it doesn't come off as sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I, th I think it's sensitive. What's I think to our town? I think like... um Was it an illusion or just a dream? I'm sorry, Carly, I'll call it. <laughs> no, it was neither. I remember trying to get people out of the flames, but not having the strength. Burning with anger, I went to the reactor to kill Sephiroth. One swift nut, one swift foot in the nuts later, perspective <laughs> thus gained. But he was I bailed and decided to find you collapsed inside. I needed, I felt saving you was far more important than going after Sephiroth solely, be, and that was solely the reason, not because I couldn't beat him, not because my fist against the Mouse Moon was a bad idea, but I decided just to save you. To there be fair, I think Sephiroth was already thrown into the reactor at this point. Oh yeah. Uh, so. As Shit. I was coming out of the reactor, Shinra troops were just arriving. I recall coming. a scientist named Hojo was in charge. He Ew. ordered the troops to gather up everyone still alive for the experiment. He creeped me the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know what that type of experiment he was talking about, but I wasn't about to have my, have my dearest student. You mentioned something about a lion. Yeah, <laughs> putting you on my back, I headed down to the mountain to the village. I used the cure spell on you many times. Sadly, my magic stat was two. Yeah, <laughs> and started to head to... Actually, yeah. I started to head to Midgard to look for a doctor for you. I didn't like that city, and my cure spells weren't helping. Oh, boy. I decided to go to Midgard to find a doctor I could trust. I'm worried about you, but I can't settle down in one place for very long. Have you fully recovered? Are you well? I wonder how many years have passed since then. I just got back in the town again, but I can't believe it. The whole town is back to normal. As normal as it gets. Except for the strange people with the black clothes all around. The town reeks of Shinra, but I won't go after them. You may be thinking I'm running from them, but it's just that I don't want anything to do with Shinra anymore. Totally not running. Feels like time is running out. Well, he's <laughs> also, he's old, though, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, the, the town reeks of Shinra. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find this letter and this gift to you. It should come in handy. I can't even jump anymore. That's irrelevant. But I hope you continue to sharpen your skills. I remember when I taught you. Kane Highwind. <laughs> <laughs> to my... <laughs> oh, you always look at Albert It's relevant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to my most precious student from Zangan. Signed, Estinian. Yeah. <laughs> Final heaven. Like, I was also going to say, um, I think like with the uh, with the piano mini game for um, Rebirth, I think they looked at The Last of Us Part 2 as like, we could do that. <laughs> But should you have done that? And the answer is no. All right, so Tifa, basically, Final Heaven is basically a fireball. It is a badass fucking finisher for our yeah. limits, though. Like, that's why I love it. Uh, hold on, we're going to adjust types here, and then we're going to go here. Uh, I also, uh, off screen, just a thing, I level up Tifa's limits to level 3. Uh, so we can give this to her immediately. And Final Heaven is interesting in that... Out of all the reels that you roll, it has the most uh, misses. Yeah. Uh, but you only need one yeah to, to pull it off. And <laughs> if you pull it off with the yeah, it does double damage. However, you're it's really hard to hit. Um, but there are plenty of hits for you to get instead of the yeah. So if you want my advice, go for the hits. Because you're already doing like seven other hits before then to get to Final Heaven. It's not worth the risk, in my opinion. Right. Is it, Especially if you're playing one of these where there's some sort of input delay. Yeah, and the reels are kind of slow. <laughs> yeah. Right. Which you think would be a, well, a benefit, but it's also, uh, no, throw, there's there's lag. The timing there's off. lag. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that said, we are going to call it a part here, folks, because uh, we did uh, a lot of things that I wanted to do for today. When we next meet up, I think we should probably go to the Gold Saucer next to show off the special battle arena challenge. That's cool. Uh, I'll explain when we get there. In the meantime, thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you guys. Actually, this should be a Sunday part. So we'll see you guys next Saturday for more Final Fantasy VII. Have a good night, everybody.